Hello. <clears throat> Hello, teacher. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Yes, let me. Fine. How's everything? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello. How are you today, guys? I'm great. Okay, that's good. good. Sounds excellent. Yes. Having a good time? Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Okay. How was the day? Good? Elena, how was the long, long weekend? For you, it was a very long weekend. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. How was everything? Good? Fine, thanks. Okay. Everything is fine. No more celebrations for the moment. No, but we ate a cake again Friday, Saturday, wow. Sunday. <laughs> It was a huge cake. Yes, it's a. Uh, I don't like very much that cake because it's a uh, a lido. Oh, that's delicious. That's the best. <laughs> huh? And a big is yes. eternity. <laughs> yeah, I know. Lido was was the cake, you know that that we used to enjoy when we were kids. <clears throat> yeah, yes. Okay. All right, here we go. Let just let me check them. We are this is the the platform. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> okay, last uh, Thursday we were we listen to this video. I'm going to play it for you just to to warm up and to wait a little bit for the others. Teacher, I can hear the sound. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. I forgot to share the sound, yes. You are right. Here we go. You will have a chance to listen to a conversation with Pastor oh, yes. B if used. Hi to all, welcome to this session. We'll continue talking about simple past, but now I want you to find out the simple past of B. Listen to the conversation and figure it out. Don't miss next class where I'll explain the past of B. Let's listen. Hi, Don. How was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Lucky you. How long were you there? About a week. Fantastic. Was the weather okay? Not really. It was cloudy most of the time. But we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. So what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. You won't believe it. What was the best thing about the trip? Okay, and so we were uh, paying attention to how was, you know, the, how long were you, how was the weather, it was cloudy, um, what was the best thing about the trip? And something incredible happened, right? So this is worse with where was, was, it was using the past tense with the verb be. Well, something incredible happened. Okay. And the next one was... The questions with the bird to be again. 
and a brief explanation. In this session, participants will study the past of B. Questions and short answers will be taught. Hello, nice to meet you back. I'll make reference of the past of the verb B. Let's start. Past of B. Were you in Hawaii? Yes, I was. Was the weather okay? No, it wasn't. Were you and your cousin on vacation? Yes, we were. Were your parents there? No, they weren't. How long were you away? I was away for a week. How was your vacation? It was excellent. Contractions. Wasn't equals was not. Weren't equals were not. The past of be, am, um, and is, was, are, were. To ask questions using the past of be, we do it this way. Was, were, plus subject, plus complement, plus question mark. Were you my student? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Was she sad? Yes, she was. No, she wasn't. Were they late? Yes, they were. No, they weren't. Remember, we used be to express feelings, conditions, states, and descriptions, either in present or past. Now you try answering the following questions. Were you my student before? Were you happy yesterday? Were you late this morning? Remember, we used be to express feelings, conditions, and was she sad? Yes, she was. No, she wasn't. Were they late? Yes, they were. No, they weren't. <clears throat> okay, we use the verb be to express feelings, conditions, states, and descriptions, right? Either in the past or in the present. Remember, we used be to express feelings, conditions, states, and descriptions, either in present or past. Now you try answering the following questions. Were you my student before? Were you happy yesterday? Were you late this morning? Okay, for example, you can see here, were you my student before? What would you answer? Individually, what would you say? Yes or no? Were you my student before? No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. That's I'm, correct, right? Mm -hmm. Say, no, I wasn't. So this is, you know, uh, something that you have to, to manage, you know, in a very, let's say, natural way, right? We say, were you my student before? No, I wasn't. Were you my friend before? No, I wasn't. Okay, now were you happy yesterday? This is a personal answer, right? What would be the answer? Okay. Were you happy yesterday? No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. Yes, I was. Or yes, I was. Okay. Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Yes, I was. That depends, right? It's a, it's a personal, personal way to say it depends on your feeling, right? How you were feeling yesterday. Okay. Uh, if you say, were you angry yesterday? Mm -hmm. No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't, right? Uh, were you tired yesterday? Yes, I was. Yes, I was, right? Yes, I was. No, probably you had to do a lot of things in your house, probably you walked a lot, you did a lot of exercise, or you had to work. You had to work and then uh, probably you, that's why you were tired yesterday, okay?
Now, were you late this morning? Were you late this morning? I mean, to go to work or for breakfast or for this class, I mean, or for a class, I don't know. Okay, were you late this morning? No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't, okay? So remember, this is the where you, were you? And you can also ask questions about third person, right? For example, was my, was my mother sick yesterday? Yes, she was, or no, she wasn't, okay? Uh, was your boss angry this morning? You say, no, he wasn't. Yes, he was. If it is a woman, no, she wasn't. Or, yes, she was. Okay? So this is one way to, to use the different forms of the verb to be. Remember that in past tense, there are only two forms, right? Where and was. Okay? Where and was. That's correct. Only two. And in present, there are three, right? Is, am, um, and are. Okay, but the other important thing is that the verb to be, you have to remember that is for feelings. Okay, that you can say, for example, I am happy. Okay. Uh, Probably you can say that I am, a, I am a student, I am a teacher, so this is probably a condition, right, where you are, or state and descriptions. For example, you can say that uh, I am maybe tall, short, fat, old, young, okay, so you can describe uh, your, your physical uh, uh, let's say physically, or you can also describe uh, personality, right? You can say, I am, a, I am a happy person, okay? I am a what? Probably a, uh, we can say a, a smart person, okay? A good teacher. A good teacher, that's a condition, <laughs> okay? Thank you. Ah, okay, right? okay. Uh -huh. When you say, for example, a good student, a good teacher, yes, a good person, okay? So then this is the important thing that you have to remember. And in that way, you will never confuse, for example, the other verbs. When I say the other verbs, I refer to the action verbs, like study, walk, play, listen, speak, um, uh, write, read look okay all those verbs are verbs that they are called action verbs okay the verb to be is not an action verb because you use it to express feelings right you say i am happy okay so you can see my happiness but only if you say for example why are you jumping okay oh because i am happy you see the action that i am jumping Okay, but you don't know in the moment why, okay? Why are you, uh, for example, uh, smiling? So you see the smile, okay? Because you can say, because I am nervous. There are some people that they are smile because they are nervous, not because they are happy, okay? And then, uh, so it depends on that, okay? So but the important thing is to know when, okay? When you're gonna use these verbs, okay? Action verbs go with do. Do you work? Do you study? Do you play? Okay, action. Do you eat? Do you run? Do you jog? Do you do you understand? Do you know? Do you listen? Do you clean? Wash. Do you clean? Do you wash? Uh -huh, exactly. Clean, yes. Okay. Do you do you connect on time to your English at eight p.m. Okay. Or do you uh, do you like English? Okay, do you practice English every day? So all those questions, okay? Actions. So this is very important to remember. Then the rest. Were you my student before? Were you happy yesterday? Were you late this morning? Good. Then the next one. 
we have some practice here, right? <clears throat> so we have, uh, Pablo, can you please read these instructions here? Okay. Instruction, complete the following conversation. Remember to use the past of B. Okay, right? Easy, right? Remember that when they say past of B, only was or where. We have to pay attention also that sometimes they, they, they only say, was is for he, she, it. Is for I, he, she, it. And where is for we, you, they. But in the sentence, they don't use they, they don't use he, they don't use she. They use, for example, in this case, your parents. Okay, but when we say your parents, uh, they are. Uh -huh, exactly, we have to automatically, right? Automatically and quickly, we know that we are talking about they. Okay, and if we are using a plural, then we're going to use where. What? Where. And then where. the question will be how long? Where? Where? Uh -huh. Where? 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 Okay, there you go. Okay, how long were your parents in Europe? Okay, uh, Pablo, how long were you in Nicaragua last week? How long were you in Nicaragua last week? No. Uh, two, two weeks? Two, oh, you were two weeks in Nicaragua, right? Yes. So how long were you in Nicaragua? I said I was two weeks. You can say I was in Nicaragua for two weeks, long answer. Short answer, two weeks. Okay, long answer, I was in Nicaragua for two weeks. Okay, very good. Uh, Juan, uh, where were you in the morning? Where were you in the morning? Where? Place. Okay, this is another thing. Wait, wait. Wait, don't answer yet. Sometimes there is another confusion when, when we use where, where. Okay, where were you? Where were you this morning? Okay, now Yes, was. Uh huh. Then you say, I was. Where? It was where? Mm -hmm. I was. Where? In, in my house. House. Okay. Okay. For example, Juan, this Jew is. Juan. Okay, where were you, Juan? Where were you, Juan, this morning? Then this I, and the answer, this I is Juan. Okay, I. Remember. I was. I was my, in my house. I was in my house. Okay. So remember that here I am using the second person, you. Okay. So we have this is another one. I first person you. You is the second person. And he, she, and it is third person. Okay? And when we begin, we is what? First, 
person, plural. Okay. Why? Why we is third person sing uh, plural? Okay, in the first person plural, uh, singular is only me. Okay, in the second person singular is only one. Okay, and in the third person singular is if it is she, it's only Elena. If it is he, it's Pablo. If it is it, it's my house or the cat. Okay? And when we say we, it's the first person plural, is because I am included. We. All of you and I. We. Okay? So, nosotros, right? It means... The second person and I, in plural. And then you have you, second person, plural. Okay. In this case, when we say second person plural, then I am talking about Pablo, Elena, Minor, Juan, eh, Francisco, eh, we have a uh, Manuel, uh, Beatriz, uh, Saul, all of you, the group. Okay, I divide the group, you, okay, that means you and I. Okay, so I am the first person and you is the group, is the person, second person plural. And then we have they, which is the third person, and then we have here plural. Okay, they is he, she, it together. For example, if I say Pablo and Juan is double he, double he. Pablo and Han and Juan were in the office this morning. Pablo, Juan, Minor, Javier were in the office this morning. Pablo, Juan, Javier, Minor, and Elena. I have he and she. Okay, is they. Okay, so this is what they have like first person singular. You, second person is only you. And he, she, it. And then we have the others. Okay, so this is, these are things that you have to keep in mind. So when they say, where were you? If I say, where were, if I am talking a minor, where were you at this time last year? Where were you at 8.24, November 3rd, 19, uh, 2019? Exactly one year ago. Where were you? I was in my house watching okay. TV. I was in my house watching TV. Okay, very good. Okay, so this is where were you? But you yeah. say I was. Okay, where were you, for example, last night at uh, this time? Uh, Javier? Teacher, I have a question. Yes, David. Uh, what is the difference in the pronunciation? of where and where, where yes. uh, with uh, H. <laughs> it's only a little, a little, you say, where, where were you? But it's basically very similar. Where, it's like, like a little hotel, right? Like a little J, where, 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 uh, where, where were you? Mm -hmm. oh. The only thing that in the context, obvious, when you say where, where, you are referring to this one, okay? Okay. They say, where were you? Because it's, where, where, uh, okay. that would be an error. But it's like, where, where were you? Where, Una, okay. como, where the jaguar, where, 
but no okay. where were you <laughs> like a jota jota huh? sounds very strong where were you where were you mm -hmm. exactly okay where were you thank you thank you okay javier where were you last night at this time uh, i think i was watching tv okay you know this is is the answer i mean that answer you say i think i was is because sometimes we don't remember exactly, right? Okay. Uh, this time, yes. I think, yes, I think I was watching TV. Okay, yes. I think in present, because you are in thinking in this moment, and you are uh -huh. giving the answer in the past. It's perfect, okay? So you see, yes. it's a combination of present and past. Very good. I think I was, okay? I think I was tired. Okay, you say, for example, why did you say that? I think I was angry. Oh, maybe I was angry. This is when you say you say something wrong, you know, very bad. Yes, I think I was I was feeling bad. Okay, very good, Javier. Thank you. All right. You. So then we have the other one. Uh, these are the different questions. Remember that you can use, right? Any other question? No problem. No. Okay. Then let's see the second one. They. Okay, here, okay. How long were your parents in Europe? They? Were there for two weeks. They were there for two weeks, excellent. How about number three? Okay, this is a yes, no question. Were they in London to long time? Okay, were they in London? The first question is an information question. How long were your parents in Europe? Uh, they were there for two weeks. The next question is a yes, no question. Were they in London? Mm -hmm. Were they in London? Look at the difference. Where were you? And this one is only one where. Were they in London the whole time? Okay, uh, for example, if I said, uh, uh, Beatriz, were you in your office this morning? Beatriz? Oh, yes. <laughs> no, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. Okay, and then I ask the information question. Where were you this morning? Mm -hmm. Where were you, Beatrice? If you were not, if you were not in the office, where were you? I was in my house. I was in my house. Okay. So you see how you use a yes/no question and the information question, right? Say, were you in your office this morning? No, I wasn't. Then, where were you? I was in my house. Okay. I was uh, at the movies. I was in my mother's house. I was in my father's house. Okay? Good. Uh, Manuel Alberto, number four. Tell me the number four. No. No, they. This is a no, negative they, form. Uh, what? No, they, a negative. Uh, no, they weren't. No, they weren't. Okay, no, they weren't. This is the negative form. Contracted. No, they weren't. Okay, good. Saul, number five. Okay, were you in Los Angeles last weekend? Where? That's correct, okay. Were you in Los Angeles last weekend? Okay, and Marian, Marian Mejia, number six. No, I was, I was in San Francisco. A negative here, no? No, I wasn't. Exactly, right, no, I wasn't. Very good, 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 good. Uh, let's see, Alejandro, number seven. Oh, where it? 
Head. Oh, no. It. Mm -hmm. How was it? How was it? That's correct. Okay, Luis Alberto, number eight. Number eight. It was great, but it was foggy. Okay. Very good. David, number nine. Yes. Um, were you away last week? Were you away last week? That's correct. Were you away last week? Okay, one, the last one. Yes. Yes, I was. Yes, In I was. Istanbul. Perfect. There you go. Okay. Questions mm -hmm. about the the vocabulary or expressions? Foggy. What does that mean? Foggy. Yes. Foggy is, for example, in the morning when you go when you see the mountains and, and the clouds are very low and you cannot see because there are a lot of clouds. You know what a cloud is? Yes, when it's cloudy, then the clouds go down, go down, go down, and then they cover like in Europe, in England, okay, is foggy, is you don't see, you need, you need yellow lights in your cars, okay? In Europe, they have yellow, car, uh, yellow lights to see in the, in the foggy nights, okay? Okay, that, thank you. That, that is like what, like what in Spanish? Neblina. Neblina, right? Neblina, so, nublada. Nublada, uh -huh. you can say, uh, but mostly like foggy mass neblina, right? Mm -hmm. I, I, have a, I have a problem in Spanish. Some people say nublina, right? But it's neblina, right? And then, and when you say nublado, it's cloudy. But I say, okay, it's cloudy in, the, in English, right? Cloud is, today, for example, all day has been cloudy, okay? Probably in the morning tomorrow, if it is cold, it's going to be foggy. Okay, foggy and cool, or foggy and cold. Okay, that is about the weather. It may be rainy too. Okay, so here we have, hey, you can see that all the answers that we have are cor correct. How long were your parents? They were there for two weeks. Were they in London? No, they weren't. Um, were you in Los Angeles last weekend? No, I wasn't. How was it? It was great. Were you, uh, were you away last week? Yes, I was in Istanbul. Look at this as an expression, right? Were you away last week? It means like if you were far from your house, distance, right? In another country, or for example, were you away could be even San Miguel. If you live in San Salvador, San Miguel, it could be away. No, I was away last week. I was in San Miguel, I was working there. Or uh, if you live in San Miguel and then you go to Santa Ana, you say, I was away last week. I was one week working in Santa Ana. So, and, or you can say, I am usually away because I had to work uh, some days in Santa Ana, other days in San Miguel. So I come to my house only on the weekend, okay? It can be in the same country or it can be in another country, right? In the Central American region, in Europe, okay? To be away is to be far from your house. Okay, questions about vocabulary people or expressions? Not for now. Okay, good. Then, uh, let me see, Manuel, can you please read this objective here? In this session, participants, we listen to two people talk, talking about their past vacation. Notice how they use simple past of regular, irregular, and be between the inter conversation. conversation conversation okay now but before we before we read 
I want you to practice and tell me, remember your last vacation? Who wants to, to share? One volunteer. It, it doesn't have to be too much. You know, for example, let me see my last vacation. Wow, it was this year I didn't have vacation, by the way. Okay, my last vacation, it was last year then. Then it was, yes. Yes, it was, uh, let me see. In April? No, 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 no. It was in December. It was in December because it, the, the last one that I had, it was in December. I I went to Guatemala for like for Christmas, right? For Christmas Eve, and with all my family, uh, and I I visited. Look, I'm listing all the verbs. I am using the verbs in past tense, right? I visited uh, Guatemala City. We went to the zoo. Uh, I went to uh, like two or three malls that are very very large and very beautiful, and I also, let me see, well, I went to different places to eat and it was a very nice experience. I thank God I didn't have any trouble with the police or with the cars. Everything was very nice. Okay, so you see, this is just a brief way to, to tell experience you have in past tense, you know, about your vacation. So who wants to share? Who wants to practice verbs in past tense with a true story? Okay, or can be invented. Okay, me teacher. Go ahead. Okay, uh, in my last vacation on December uh, 2019, uh, I went to uh, visit to my family in Peru, I, uh, for 10 days, and when I come to El Salvador, I when painted, I? when I uh, returned. Or came, uh -huh. when I returned or came. To El Salvador, I painted my house, and I rest uh, the other days before uh, I were to, I going to work. Before I return to work. I return to work, okay. Okay, very nice. And uh, do you have family in Peru? No. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, he went, to hotel. he went to a hotel. <laughs> okay, in good. Pango. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, there is a, there is, there is a, new, a new neighborhood, Peru neighborhood. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. Excellent. Okay, anybody else? You see, I mean, you just have to practice. That's the idea. One more. Don't be shy. Hello, hello, hello. Manuel Gutierrez, yes. Hi, teacher. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, who? Oh, minor, minor. Yes. Uh, my last vacation, we were for last Christmas. Okay. We were meeting by me, wow, family to have dinner, talk and share experience of the wow years. The, and tell the experiences of the whole year. It was a dinner. Yes. In your grandmother's yes. house or in your house? Mm, in grandmother's house. Grandmother my, house. My, my parents. Your parents' yes. house. Okay, very good. Yes. All right, Manuel. Hello, teacher. How uh, are you? On my last vacation is, is a travel. Uh, United States, uh, the Los Angeles, California, on um, visit familiaries and so I visit my fa I visited my family, my family and all friends. Okay, and I visit uh, the beach 
beautiful beach. Um, he and travel uh, the Vegas to oh. visit casinos. Cas How do you say casinos? Casinos. Uh, casinos. Uh, uh, también. How also? do you say? Also, also visit uh, one's parents um, my parents uh, cousin, cousin relatives uh -huh. cousins and uh, in, in my return on the on the Salvador uh, estuve en cuarentena I was in quarantine I was in quarantine uh, oh, really? I, I returned in uh, 12... Um, March. March. March 12. So uh, you were, how, lo how long were you in, in the United States? Three months? Uh, two months. No, two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Okay, two weeks. So you went in March. In at March. the beginning of March and you came back on 12th. Returned 12... 12 March. March 12th. Two weeks. Two weeks. Well, my goodness. Where? Where uh, were you? In the in Vía Olímpica. <laughs> uh, Palma Chalate. In Chalate. Palma. Okay, good. First, uh, I, first in the Iquilisco. Iquilisco, yes, I know. Uh -huh. And then La Palma Chalate. Okay. Was it nice? 30 days. 20, 20, 30 days. 20, 30 days, 30 See, days. One month. One month. So, yeah. long vacation. Long vacation. <laughs> okay, you see? Very the, good. El gustazo, el trancazo. Yes, well, but, <laughs> but it was work. free. No, but you didn't work. <laughs> and, 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 and you get paid. <laughs> me, pagaron, me pagaron 45 días el gobierno. <laughs> okay, all right, good. So, that's nice. Perfect. <laughs> Okay, how about you, Jenny? Finish. Thank you. You're welcome. So? Okay, any experience on your vacations? Okay. Mm, um, I'm like vacation, I went to Doman, Republica Dominicana. You went to uh, Dominican Republic? For eight days, I visit the hello. Hello. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Hola. I visit. You visited. Me pueden escuchar. No sé por qué dice que es inestable. Sí, se ve como por a little bit, you know, slow. But we can hear. Tengo mala señal. Yes, I can. I can see that. Can you hear me more? Yes. Now, yes. Okay. Now it's better. Okay. Okay. And my last vacation, I went to the Dominican Republic for eight days, and I visited the, the Soana Island. It is beautiful place because it's clear water and uh, a lot different fish. And I was the the great experience, and also the hotel beautiful and all night uh, did party and dancing and karaoke and shows. Okay. I, it was a beautiful experience. It was a beautiful experience, I guess. Okay, um, do you have uh, relatives, family members in the Repu Dominican Republic? No, no? only visited. No. Okay, it's mm -hmm. good. So it was a, did you prepare the tour or you had a tour operator? No, I, I uh, research, busqué. I research, uh -huh. uh -huh. I research. I research in, I research in the Expedia. Uh -huh. 
Wikipedia.com is great praise and all inclu included. Okay, good. So, I think it's, it's cheaper that way, right? Yeah, no tanto. Uh, but <laughs> no but tanto, it's better, but it's better when, mm -hmm. when you buy the tickets, it's better. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. All included is better. Okay, good. Excellent, thank you. Okay, yep. so let me see, we have a, a, one more. One more who wants to participate. Oh, no. teacher. <laughs> okay, yes, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. <laughs> okay, let me see, Alejandro. Last vacation was two years ago, more or less. Mm -hmm. And I traveled to Santa Marta, okay. Colombia. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a great experience, nice beach, and a lot of fun because the place is very tropical mm -hmm. and the town the hometown is very I don't know what can I say to chair animal animated like very animated uh, in the uh, night very exciting mm -hmm. in, okay. in the night the night is is very funny Okay. And I stay stayed uh, four days, and it was a great experience. Okay. All right. Very good. Okay. Today we have. Okay. Listen. Uh, today we have uh, Jenny, Manuel, and uh, Javier, Minor, and Alejandro. Okay. Tomorrow at the beginning of the class, I'm going to ask others. Okay. Other five, so that you know little by little, so you have a chance to practice verbs or experiences that you had, okay? So the rest, I don't know who, okay? You prepare for tomorrow, right? Now, let's continue with that, with the topic so that we can also have chance to practice and, and check the platform. Let me see here. We have a listening exercise. It says, listen to Jason and Barbara Talk about their vacation, write the answers for each person. So you have to answer these four questions. Where did Jason go? Did he enjoy it? Where did Barbara go? And did she enjoy it, right? So you're going to listen to the conversation two times, okay? The first time, pay attention to details, pronunciation, vocabulary, and the second time, we are going to answer the questions. Listening. Welcome back. Listen to Jason and Barbara talk about their vacations. Complete the chart. Jason, hi, welcome back. You were away last week, right? Yeah, I was on vacation. Where did you go? I went to San Francisco. Nice. How was it? Oh, I loved it. What did you like most about it? Well, San Francisco is such a beautiful place, and the weather was actually pretty nice. Well, that sounds more exciting than my last vacation. What did you do, Barbara? I just stayed home. I don't have enough money to take a trip anywhere. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, not really. I actually enjoyed my vacation. I went to the gym every day, and I lost three pounds. Well, that's great. Good for you. I wish I could lose three pounds. Listening. Welcome back. Listen to Jason and Barbara talk about their vacations. Complete the chart. Jason, hi, welcome back. You were away last week, right? Yeah, I was on vacation. Where did you go? I went to San Francisco. Nice. How was it? Oh, I loved it. 
What did you like most about it? Well, San Francisco is such a beautiful place, and the weather was actually pretty nice. Well, that sounds more exciting than my last vacation. What did you do, Barbara? I just stayed home. I don't have enough money to take a trip anywhere. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, not really. I actually enjoyed my vacation. I went to the gym every day, and I lost three pounds. Well, that's great. Good for you. All right. Where did Jason go? San Francisco. San Francisco. San Francisco. He went to San Francisco. That's correct. Did he enjoy it? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes he did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about Barbara? Where did she go? Home. You're home. 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 She stayed home. She stayed home. Stay home. She stayed home. Okay, she stayed home. Did she enjoy it? Yes. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Right? Now she had a good time. Sometimes, you know, staying home can be funny, can be funny, right? Depends on what you do. Okay, so let's, uh, well, we have here the, submit the answers. Okay, and then we see that we have them all right. Now, no problem with the listening? So was it good, easy to understand? Yeah, yeah. not too much. Uh, let's see the listening welcome back listen to Jason and Barbara talk about their vacations <clears throat> complete the chart Jason hi welcome back you were away last week right yeah. okay you see he's using that expression right you were away last week right something like you know you were not here right yeah I was on vacation where did you go? So he said, I was on vacation. And then she asked, where did you go? I went to San Francisco. No. And he said that he went to San Francisco. Nice. How was it? Oh, I loved it. So she uses two expressions. How nice, que chivo, right? How nice and how was it? Okay. How nice and how was it? What did you like most about it? Well, San Francisco is such here? a beautiful... Where did you go? I went to San Francisco. Nice. How was it? Oh, I loved it. What did you like most about it? Okay. What did you... What do you say here? What is expression? San Francisco. Nice. How was it? Oh, I loved it. What did you like most about it? Well, San Francisco. So what, like, you know, like, what were you up to most about it? So like, what did you do most of the time, right? So what activities did you do? San Francisco is such a beautiful place, and the weather was actually pretty nice. Well, that sounds more exciting than my last vacation. Okay, so the weather is most of the time nice, and that sounds more exciting than my last vacation. What did you do, Barbara? I just stayed home. Okay, here just in simple past with uh, action verb. What did you do, Barbara? I just stayed home. I don't have enough money to take a trip anywhere. Uh, That's just like me. I don't have enough money to take a trip anywhere, right? <laughs> yes. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, not really. I actually enjoyed my vacation. I went to the gym every day, and I lost three pounds. Well, that's great. Good for you. You see, she went to the gym, saved money, and lost three pounds. She's in good shape now. Okay. And that's about unit, well, the section two people, right? So the next one is the unit three. Today we have, a, well, this week on Friday, we're going to check a little bit about the 
midterm exam so that you will have the weekend to finish, okay, the midterm exam. So if you have any questions about the, the test, we were going to see that on Friday. Okay, Jenny, can you please read the objective here? In this session, in this session, the participant will listen to a conversation between neighbor asking about the place in town, paying attention to there is, there are, one, any, and some. Okay. Asking about places in town. Okay. Pay attention to there is, there are, one, any, and some. So we have, for example, here, a singular, plural, count nouns, non-count nouns, a, when we use any, when we use some, and also ask for places in town, like, is there a, is there a bank near here? Okay, uh, where is the nearest hospital? Okay, is there, a uh, is there a hospital near your house? Is there a drugstore near your house? Okay, is there a mall, a supermarket? Okay, so these kind of questions. Welcome everybody to section eight. What's your neighborhood like? As we always do, we listen to a conversation in order to get ready for our topics, which will include places around town, location, and there is, there are. In this session, you will listen to a conversation between neighbors asking about places in town. Pay attention to there is, there are, one, any, and some. Excuse me, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh. Yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center, too. A barber shop? <laughs> okay. A little bit of sarcasm, right? Welcome, everybody. Okay. Now, questions about vocabulary in this expression? I mean, in this conversation? Laundry market? Laundry, laundromat. L laundromat. Uh -huh. Laundromat is a place where you can go with your clothes and you can wash your clothes, okay? It's a laundromat. Excuse me. Uh, no, because that's a, uh, you take it and they clean it and dry. In this one, they have machines for rent. If you don't have, if you don't have it in your house, then there, there are many, many washing machines. And then you put quarters and everything. You buy the, you buy the detergent, you buy everything. Then you wash your clothes, you wait, then you pay for the, for the dryer too. You wash, dry, and then you take your clothes back to your house. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is the, we, don't have, Thank you. we don't have that service in El Salvador, I guess, but we have dry cleaning. There are dry cleaners too, right? But it's, it's a different no, service. I, yes, what? the laundromat is here in San Salvador. Oh, really? Where? Yes. In San Miguel too. In the team, oh. uh, uh, ones. Oh, really? Okay. Yes, another on the San Luis too. Laundromats. Laundromat, okay. yes. <laughs> okay, sounds great. It's good to know. I didn't know because you know my when my washing machine doesn't work, I know where to go. <laughs> okay, that's good. Okay, and how much how much they charge? No idea. Uh, and uh, I think three dollars, three huh? and four dollars. Three and four dollars. Lo cobran por docena, no sé. Ah, por okay. Docena, docena, tres dólares. Oh, really? Uh -huh. Twelve, uh -huh. six shares and six pence, three dollars. Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, good. So you, then you, what, what you do is that you put the socks in the, in the pockets. <laughs> 
Yeah, make me take a calcetina a los a los bolsillos, right? And then so you save money. Okay, good. Thank you, Jenny, for the information. All right, so then we have the laundromat. What else? Moved in is when you move to another house, right? A grocery store. No es tienda de grocería, okay? The store is for vegetables. Uh-huh, yes. Are there any around here? Laundromat. First from shopping center. I visit in the barber shop. Uh -huh. Yeah. I visit the barber shop. Yes. I don't remember. Yes, Juan. <laughs> yes, Juan. It's time for you to go to a barber shop, right? Is there a, is there Juan, is there a barber shop near your house? No. Huh? No, no, no. No. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. underst yeah. I understand. I <laughs> understand. Okay. So then you have uh, the barber shop, and that's it. Easy vocabulary, no problem. Okay, people, so we are going to stop here for today. We will continue tomorrow. Uh, the ones who didn't tell me about your vacation today, be prepared for tomorrow, okay? So okay. pra practice verbs in past tense, okay? Verbs in past tense. Thank you, teacher. Bye-bye, have a good night. Thank See you, you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow.